unfortunately I believe that you know if you took the whole of Brighton and uh, you took them all to a fucking psychiatrist and uh, they were truly honest about the way that they felt I reckon a lot of people would be fucking sectioned, do you know what I mean? Guess you gotta be fearful to fight Vessels gotta be grounded for flight We define life through our thoughts founded in sight There's no darkness, just absence of light Guess you gotta be fearful to fight it's been quite a long while of me just talking about one certain thing, do you know what I mean? It, it, it was all just focused around drugs and, and um, partying and graph and my life then and um, that was basically all I did back then, do you know what I mean? And uh, once uh, I kind of came to, came to stop in a lot of that stuff, it, it, I had a lot of stuff to write about, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, after you've been numbing yourself for a lot of time and then everything comes back. You know, you've got a lot to say and, and music's like therapy in a way. You know, um, I, I believe like any kind of creative outlet um, can do a lot for you in, in that kind of, in that way, do you know what I mean? I've been thinking how the left is right and right's wrong Rory asks why I'm still making sad songs why I don't let goodbyes be bygones Well I've tried but they live in my mind The light's on And nobody's home but me and some free um, I mean, um, I'd say like this This is a bit more like personal um, It's kind of taking a bit more I mean a lot of the topics on the Garden of England Were kind of talked at from a third person perspective You know, that, that kind of makes it easier in a way When you're not talking about yourself um, But yeah, I, I, find, I kind of felt like there was always going to be a time where um, you know I delved a little bit deeper and uh, yeah just spoke about my own personal experience you know yeah he's a nice guy man um, yeah I've only actually met him once it's that weird thing where you just meet people fucking friends of friends over the internet and never actually meet anyone and I met him and uh, yeah real safe guy and uh, yeah, he's been dropping heat on uh, Village Live. Yeah, he's, he's, he's killing it. Um, it's just got that kind of real nice 90 sound that I, I, I vibe with, do you know what I mean? And then, so his side is like, we've put it on the thing, it's like a little bit cheesy, but his side is the ill side. And then my side is the chill side. Mine, mine's a bit more, you know, laid back and his is pretty full on. But you know, if anyone is ever struggling, just fucking reach out to people. We don't want none of that macho bullshit in here. Make some noise if you feel me. It is being talked about more now, but um, I feel like a lot of people are still um, kind of afraid or you know, there's this whole kind of macho facade, especially being a rapper or whatever, that you've got to have this kind of, this thing that um, isn't completely true to yourself. And I feel like that's something that I, I have always held quite important. <laughs> Even like subconsciously through my old music, where it was all just about painting trains and smoking weed and fucking partying. That's what I was back then, do you know what I mean? I was basically just a fucking massive jar of chronic. But like, nowadays, you start to grow up a little bit, you see a lot of things around you, and um, I think it would be wrong if I didn't put a lot of that stuff in my music. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't be real. Um uh, Nah The great strange neighbours Waiting for a suitable exchange Back when Emmett left Remember mad things rearranged But how many mics have I used to vent my rage How many lights of the views On what they've made make difference Living without harmony and dissonance Submissive to the hands that hold the soul at nuclear distance It's like this, it's like this, it's like that